Remember Carter Storaki, 7-3. Storaki scored a takedown in each period en route to that 7-3 win. And, uh, Carter Storaki, anytime you talk re with wrestling people, they are in awe of Storaki's footwork and the way he hand fights as a high school kid. Although it's stout in on a single here early, elevates, look to finish. Storaki locked around the waist. Stout now starting to sit back in. And Storaki rolls us through. Now it's Storaki looking to create a little bit of offense. We'll go out of bounds. Scoreless here, 50 seconds in, in another matchup of top 10 wrestlers in the country. About 1,047 in the third place match. Stout Pinto again on the offensive there, nothing really doing. Now it's Storaki, head inside single. Can't quite hide the ankle as Stout scrambles. Storaki looks to sit up and through. Still scrambling here, Stout looking to pass, can't quite. Lone dead stalemate here, scoreless, 38 seconds, first period between Stout and Storaki. Both of these guys, Fargo champions. Top 10 wrestlers in the country, and now Pennsylvania State finalist Storaki looking for his second title. Storaki again head inside single, step over, kicked out by Stout. Now Stout, wizard defense. Storaki looks to hook the ankle and does, so 2-0 lead Storaki, 13 seconds left in the period. And they'll try and ride out and preserve this two point lead here, headed into the second. Great job securing the takedown, and, and goes to work Storaki on top of the two on one. Can't quite get the turn, but at least puts that in Stout's mind. Stout's father was a four time All American heavyweight at Clarion as well as a state champion in New Jersey. Also, older brother Kellen, a state champion. So this is not an uncommon position for a stout member, stout family member to be in as Luke in his first state final. Up to his feet, looks to peel hands. Storaki trips and returns, throws a, tries to throw a leg off the return, blocked by Stout. Now sits him back into that two-on-one tilt. Elevates, now a grab position for Storaki. We roll out of bounds. Whistle start 139 here. 2 0 lead Storaki. Stout again works to his feet. Peels hands and is away. 2 1. Stout able to cut Storaki's lead in half. 90 seconds left, second period. Nice re-attack there, Storaki. Stout tries to stuff the head. Storaki elevates with that single, looks to cut to a double, stays with the single. Hooks the leg, able to gather the ankle and score. 4-1 lead Storaki, and you can see that clap there. I think he thinks that might be what breaks it open for him. And the, the difference so far in the bout, Stout has to create some openings in order to try to, to score. And as he's trying to create those, he's opening up some stuff for Storaki, where Storaki's footwork, hand positioning, is perfect spot on. He doesn't create those openings for Stout as he's trying to get to his offense. And it gets against Storaki looking tilt. Doesn't quite have Stout there as he's trying to use that top leg to elevate Stout to finish the turn. Can't quite. 
now readjusts Stout, bellies out, 32 seconds left here. Staraki in charge, and a, now kicks out, stays on top, uh, but Staraki in charge and about reminiscent of that Powerade final. Staraki again sits Stout in. We roll out of bounds, 4-1, it'll be 12 seconds left on the whistle start. Erie Cathedral Prep been in the mix in the team race the entire tournament. Curly, currently sitting in second, trails Bethlehem Catholic by 12. Staraki rides us out. So with significant bonus points and a pair of champions, it is mathematically possible for Cathedral Prep to catch the Golden Hawks. And you also will have Dorian Crosby at 195 yeah. pounds wrestling for a medal. Yeah, and certainly if Crosby were to win, they can make things close. As Staraki up and away. and extends his lead to 5-1 here in the third period. Level change there, Staraki. Looks like Stout got poked in the eye there. Now Staraki shot from way out, Stout short offense. Get it blown dead. Restart 118. Staraki in control here at 182. Not an unexpected result. Certainly both guys nationally acclaimed, but Staraki just has been on a higher plane really for the last year, year and a half. Is that a nice reattack there? Stout. Heavy hips from Staraki. Tries to go behind, runs out of real estate before he scores. 101 on the restart. Will be exciting to see what Kale Sanderson and company do once they get Staraki in the room. Certainly, the training situation in Penn State is excellent. Guys tend to really jump levels once they're there, and Staraki, who knows what that level could be once he gets to State College. And it's coming in right around his weight, Vincenzo Joseph. You're going to have Aaron Brooks coming in from the Olympic Training Center. Up a little high, higher, Michael Beard. On a gray shirt this year. Yeah, but just kind of excellent guys to come in and have in the room. Not quite sure where Staraki fits in weight-wise in college. Certainly is not a not a huge 82. But Penn State also has a way of putting weight on guys. In and out, footwork from Stout. As we're sitting there rattling off. Mark Hall, you know, another guy right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, not, a bad, not <laughs> a bad training partner for Staraki coming up forward. And actually, it wouldn't shock me if Staraki ends up in that 74-pound weight class as a successor to Hall. You know, Penn State certainly likes that, lets their guys wrestle up a ton, um, but Staraki wouldn't shock me if that's where he fits in in the future. And Staraki, high level stuff here, getting to his sit position to clear his ankles. Turns back in and he secures the takedown. Just like Power he scored a takedown in every single period. And if he rides this out, he'll have a 7 1 decision and his second state title. Yeah, two time champ Carter Staraki, Erie Cathedral Prep. Left no doubt there is Staraki methodically kind of picks apart Luke Stout on his way to a second state title, first of the night for the Ramblers. And Carter Siraki caps an undefeated senior season, getting his hand raised for the second time. You see Siraki celebrating, getting congratulations from his coaching staff, now goes over to check in for the second time as a state champ in Pennsylvania, as we see how he did it here at 182. Puts that ankle on the shelf on the far side. He's gonna drive her, I think he uses right foot, kicks that up. 
collects the ankle to score the opening takedown. Good work on the edge here. Gets his head up in position. Turns the corner, scoops the ankle. Takes that, didn't quite have to take it to the far shelf, but he just collects the far ankle. And the final one sits out, clears his own ankles, turns back in. And there's the takedown. As we the medal winners at 170, 